I'm here today to share with you one of Jesus' parables or the stories he used to tell to help people understand about God and what God wanted people to do. Now, the story today is called <clears throat> The Parable of the Wicked Tenants. Now, there was a landowner who owned a vineyard where they grew grapes. And he used to let tenants or renters grow grapes on the property. And once the fruit was ripe, they were to give a share to the landowner. Well, time came when the fruit was ripe and the landowner sent someone to collect his share of the grapes. Well, the tenant said, nope. And they kept them all for themselves. Well, he sent someone else. Nope, the tenants kept them all for themselves. He sent one more person, a third one, to collect the grapes. Nope, the tenants collected them and kept them all for themselves. Well, the landowner owns the land and yet it produces fruit and he gets none of it back. Well, what do you think that means? Let's try and figure out. Let's imagine that the landowner is God and God gives us everything we need to grow fruit. Now, our fruits aren't grapes or apples or oranges, but they're the loving things that we do for other people that honor God. Now, just like the many fruits and the many ways there are to honor God, we all have some. Like, we might pray for people who are sick or help our parents do chores around the house, or maybe we have a special talent, like we can draw, or we sing, or we play an instrument, that we're especially kind to others. There are all kinds of things, I bet you can think of many more, that produce fruit and honor God. Would you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for giving us everything we need to grow good fruits within ourselves, to honor you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. See you soon.